Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Ngayon pag-uusapan natin paano nga ba natin nire-report in APA format yung result ng ating ANOVA, one-way ANOVA to be specific. Other than that, pwede rin natin ipakita sa ating audience today kung paano ba natin i-analyze or i-execute yung analysis of variance gamit yung SPSS. Alright, so welcome back. Simulan na natin. Doon sa last part ng ating video, ang One Way ANOVA Part 2, ang ginawa natin is that tinemonstrate ko sa inyo paano nyo nga ba makocompute yung analysis of variance na one way gamit yung isang free na software na tinatawag na Jamovi. So you can download this on, just search this on Google, then download it for free, tapos pinakita ko doon sa Part 2 kung paano nyo siya gagawin. Yung naging findings natin dito ay yung temperature ng room, Depende kung malamig ba, katamtaman o mainit, may impact siya doon sa score ng mga estudyante. And nasabi natin yung kasi sabi ng ating one-way ANOVA, meron tayong significant differences sa pagitan ng mga grupo na ito. At kitang-kita natin dito sa ating table na yung may pinakamataas na average score ay yung mga nag-exam doon sa average room temperature mas mababa ng konti yung sa mga malamig na room pero sobrang baba nung nasa sobrang init sa mainit na room. Tapos, pinakita ko rin yan sa inyo gamit yung isang um, plot. You can see it on this plot na mataas yung mga nasa average na temperature, yung mga nasa room temperature lang. And then, um, ang most important part nung part 2 ay yung post hoc test. Ano nga bang grupo yung merong mga significant differences compared to each other? Tapos nakita natin na may significant difference compared sa score, um, comparing the scores ng mga nasa katamtaman tsaka yung mga nasa mainit. Kaya natin nasabi kasi nagtagpo sila dito sa, sa 4.00 tapos yung p-value niya ay less than 0.001. And then after that, meron ding significant difference dun sa malamig tsaka dun sa mainit. Um, less than 0.05 okay? denoted nung isang asterisk na nakikita nyo so ibig sabihin ito, yung walang asterisk hindi significant yung difference nila yung katamtaman tsaka malamig, hindi masyadong significant or totally, hindi nagsignificant yung kanilang difference at kung titingnan nyo sa chart, magkalapit lang naman talaga yung score, kaya walang significant difference okay, at this point, pwede ko nang ipakita yung sa SPSS so, to do that, pwede nyo gawin is, i-export nyo yung data nyo by clicking on this um, upper left button. Then, click on export. And then, you can save it as SPSS sub. Okay. Then, pag denoble click nyo siya at kung meron kayong SPSS, you can open it sa inyong SPSS. For those who don't have SPSS at interested lang doon sa APA report writing, you can skip this part. This is to demonstrate how to use the SPSS in doing one-way ANOVA. So, katulad nung sa part 2, first ang una natin gawin is kailangan natin i-label yung mga values natin. And I am actually surprised na meron na siyang labels dito. Siguro nung pagka-export natin using the Jamovi file, ay eh, na-identify niya na agad, which is something to be happy about. Diba? Very convenient. Ayan, so na-identify na niya. Wala na tayong problema dito. The measure or the level of measurement for grouping, of course, that should be nominal. Kapag exam score, dapat yan ay scale. Balik tayo sa data view. And ibig sabihin, pwede na tayong mag-analyze at i-click nyo yung compare means at punta kayo sa one-way ANOVA. At ilagay nyo sa grouping, sa factor, sorry, yung grouping variable at sa dependent list, yung exam scores. At i-open yung options. Check on descriptives. I-check nyo yan. I-check nyo rin yung means plot. Then, click on continue. At sa post hoc, katulad nung ginawa natin sa isang video, ang pinili natin ay 2 key. 2 key is honestly significant difference or 2 key is HSD. Okay, yung 2 key kasi ginagamit mo siya as a post hoc kapag pantay-pantay yung sample size o yung dami ng mga participant mo in every group. So, pwede naman si 2 key dito. So, we can click on continue. Sa contrast, okay, wala na tayong dapat paguhin. Then, click nyo lang yung OK. Ayan, at mabilisan, meron na tayong output. As you can see, yung ating descriptive ay katugma lang nung descriptive nung sa Jamovi. Same na means per group, mas marami nga lang detail dito. 
At yung ANOVA table natin ay same dun sa pinapakita ng Jamovi. Ang ating F statistic ay 12.67, significant, okay, ang ating result. And sa post hoc, mas pinakomplicate lang yung table. But basically, same lang yung sinasabi niya kung, um, when you contrast it with what Jamovi is trying to tell us. Same lang yung ini-indicate niyan. Yun nga lang kung titingnan natin, gawin natin side by side yung ating windows. Okay. Wait for a moment. Let's let me try it again. Ayan. Okay. Wait, hindi siya nagsa side by side. Let me do it once again. Okay, ayan, much better. So, makikita natin yung post hoc table ng SPSS. Ayun, kung paano talaga siya nare-report sa, sa detalyadong paraan, kumpleto. Okay? Pero sa Jamovi, shortcut na kung ano lang yung dapat mong malaman. At hindi dito kasi, may mga comparison na nauulit. For example, malamig versus katamtaman, inulit lang yan dito sa second group, katamtaman versus malamig. There's no need to repeat that kasi same lang yung output niya eh. Significant, um, hindi significant, 0.155. So, katulad lang ng sinabi dito, katamtaman versus malamig, hindi significant, 0.155. So, basically, easier version yun nasa Jamovi. Okay? Anyway, other than that, i-compare natin. Sige, sige, tingnan natin. Katamtaman, mainit, significant, less than 0.001. Hanapin natin dito sa left side or sa SPSS. Okay? Katamtaman versus mainit, okay, less than 0.001. Alright, so ibig sabihin, tugma talaga yung ating results for the two um, na ginamit natin na software. Okay, mas detalyado nga lang ito. Pero ang tinitingnan ko dyan typically ay yung significance lang naman. Tapos yun lang kasi yung report Now, let me go now to the report writing. So if full screen natin ito, I-side by side natin with um, the Jamovi output para masunda natin. Okay. So, ito. I hope you can see it clearly. So, sabi natin sa ating report dito is that the present study was conducted to determine if room temperature has an impact on exam performance. The participants were randomly assigned into three conditions, cold, average, and warm temperature. Tapos non. Um, One-way ANOVA was utilized to determine if significant differences exist between the conditions. Results show that there is a significant difference in the exam scores across the three conditions. So, kunento natin qualitatively kung ano yung nangyari. Then, i-report nyo quantitatively ano yung result. So, F is the symbol, F test. Sa nanggaling yung 2 at 12 na ito? Dalawa kasi ang degrees of freedom sa ANOVA. Kaya may DF1 at may DF2. Okay, so kaya naging 2 at 12. Sa SPSS, sa ano yan banda makikita? Ito, yung between, yun yung DF1. Yung within, yun yung DF2. Yung total, hindi nyo yan gagamitin. Okay, so balik tayo sa MS Word. After that, makikita nyo 12.7. Yan po actually yung ating F statistic, yung kinalabasan. Tapos yung level of significance, yung p-value niya, less than 0.001. Okay, so anyway, actually, um, to correct myself, it's not actually less than 0.001. It's actually equals 0.001. Okay, but definitely that is less than 0.01. So it's up to you how you can report it. But the what I'm trying to say is that significant yung difference nila. Okay, kasi yan ay napaka-liit na p-value. Anyway, so tingnan natin, took his HSD was used as a post hoc test. It reveals that those who took the exam in the room with average temperature, kukunin nyo yung mean at yung standard deviation, 6.4 tsaka 1.14 na standard dev, scored significantly higher than those in the warm room. Tapos i-report nyo rin yung mean at yung standard deviation. And then yung p-value na ito ay nanggaling doon sa comparison ng average temperature tsaka doon sa warm temperature. So katamtaman versus warm Ito, yung p-value na less than 0.001. Okay, then after that, meron pa bang ibang significant differences? Meron pang isa dito, may isa pang nag-asterisk. So, to report that, ang sinabi ko, Moreover, those who were in the cold room state the mean and the standard dev based ulit sa ating table. Okay. Alright, um, let me just correct this. This, is, this should be 1.48, not 1.14. Also scored higher. 
than those in the warm room. Hindi ko na inulit yung mean tsaka standard depth kasi na-report na siya doon kanina sa cold, doon sa warm room. Oh, na banggit na natin yan kanina. But if you want, it's up to you. It's up to your format. Kung okay lang ba sa advisor niyo or sa um, research teacher niyo na ilagay ulit. But for me, hindi ko na nilagay. Yung p-value niya ay less than 0.05. Base siya on this one. 0.028. So definitely less than 0.05 lang. Okay? Tapos, ang last sentence, ipaliwanag nyo sa madaling language kung anong implication yan. The findings show that the temperature of the room significantly affects the exam performance of the students. So, basically, yun lang po para sa ating discussion for today. I hope that you can share this with your classmates. For those na gustong matuto, paano ba mag-report writing in one way, ANOVA? Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to like this video, comment what you learned, and subscribe in this channel for more statistics, SPSS, Jumovi tutorials, as well as psychology lectures. So that is it for this lecture. Hope that I can see you again next time. Thank you.